Grandpa Newbie reporting for duty with a new aftermarket add-on part. And this is for the OG Castoff 762, the Jacques Requiem. And let's take a look and see what Jacques does for us. Look at the recoil. 50% down on the gun kick, 86% down on the, the horizontal recoil, and the vertical recoil is absolutely zero. Nothing. Neo. Nada. So let's have a look at the firing range and see if this is really true. I did not put my right thumb on the stick at all. I just let the weapon shoot and the muzzle go wherever it wanted to go. Have a look. Grandpa can do this all day. The thing can drive a nail at 100 meters. So let's take a look at the other statistics. Headshot damage, 46. Hmm. Don't really need it, though, because it's going to be a four-shot kill. Four-shot kill for upper and lower and upper leg. So that's good news, because guess what? I had to put a sight on this weapon because I kept shooting low. I kept kneecapping people. I guess my right thumb was automatically correcting for the recoil that wasn't there. It's muscle memory, I think. Uh, bullet velocity is down a little bit as is rate of fire, but not a lot. Let's look at the other attachments. They're not really that important, but we'll look at them anyway. 40 round mag, load it up because you're going to be gacking a lot of people, especially in free-for-all. The Prolite 3 stock. The Prolite 3 stock helps with mobility, hurts less than 5% the recoil, doesn't touch the vertical recoil. The vertical recoil is absolutely zero. And the ADS speed is improved by 4%, but you know what Grandpa says, anything less than 10%, 8%, you're not going to really notice. The DR6 hand stop. Again, that helps with movement speed, ADS movement speed, which is a nice 3.1 meters per second. ADS speed, so that's a composite, and sprint to fire at 194 milliseconds. That's excellent. And finally, the Mark III reflector. That gives us glass, but I absolutely needed it because, like I said, I kept kneecapping people. Finally, I started shooting them in the tush, and eventually I got up to the chest. And that's really where you want to be in the upper lower torso, but upper legs count too, the same amount of damage. So let's take this beast onto the field of honor and see if Grandpa can keep from shooting people in the toes as his right thumb rebels through muscle memory and attempts to compensate for recoil that's not there. All right, let's get into this zero recoil machine and see if Grandpa can control it. Stop from shooting people's knees and toes and the floor in front of them. Of course, first Grandpa has to find someone. That one is an easy one. You go sliding into somebody's gut, difficult to miss. Zero recoil, absolutely nothing. Just turned around and shot. That guy should have done the same thing, come to think of it. Oh, where'd he go? He's climbing up. Oh, he's pitched a tent. He probably reserved that from the campground administration as I reserved that piece of the floor for my twitching. Now this, as I recall, there it is right there, that lady was an obvious Cronus user. In fact, the entire lobby was giving her endless grief about it. She moved as fast as a water bug. There she is again. Had that auto, auto drop shot going. And I realized somebody's gonna say, oh, you know what, I can do that. Yeah, the game knows it's you. They know how serious you are. And all of the stats, the movement speeds, that sort of thing, they just don't apply to you, right? There she is again. Now, eventually she was either removed from the game at the end or just left the game. Um, there she is. 
knows where everybody is. Okay, back to the Jack Requiem. And by the way, there's a bonus game at the end. You can see, I wasn't controlling the recoil because when I did try to control it, I'd shoot in the ground. It's really a learning process with this. But once you've got it down, you will hit people across the map. You'll drive nails, literally, like right there. See, I was started out low. I had to physically move the stick up, and I'm not used to doing that with weapons because weapons all recoil in the upward direction as my face recoils to the ground there. Oh, I should have shot faster. I was kind of deciding whether to alert him or not. That definitely alerted him. What is There she is. I did a lot of research on the Cronus over the last week, so I would be conversant in it. And there are a few tells that you'll know for sure somebody's on it. Number one, she wasn't on a PC. She was on a Sony. And the Sony will prevent the Cronus use if you update, I think, the BIOS. If you don't update the BIOS, then you can still use it. And surprisingly enough, the YouTube channels with Cronus users have 30, 40, 50, 60,000 subs. And Activision tends to put out their most frequent and longest X posts on what they're doing to combat cheating because it is embedded right now. Oh, I didn't see that, that person and they made me pay. So I, I was kind of laughing inside because it just went against everything in me to let the gun just eat. It wanted to eat, let it eat. And you can see I'm even running with my my dot a little too low. Are we going to have to lift it up or you'll be shooting in the floor because you're going to try to control the recoil that's just not showing up. I think once I got two or three Gax ahead, the person, the Cronus lady left. Look at there. I didn't even touch the stick. In fact, I pushed it down a little to control the recoil and I ended up sh shooting the guy in his knees. That is going to take a bit of learning for me, but... I think this weapon is good if you're a new player having trouble controlling recoil. It won't teach you to do that, but you know what? It'll teach you how to move around the map. And if you're an experienced player, more than grandpa, you will be a Gakamo machine with this thing. You'll be unstoppable. I think I played three or four free-for-alls. Came in first every time. And we're running out of time. You can see that 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 uh, Cronus user has left the lobby. I went from being two or three lives ahead to being six lives ahead. And there we go. I was kind of beating myself up for misapplying recoil. Now, that was a nice player there. Um... We, we got to talk for a little bit of mice and gin. Whoa, 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 whoa. That guy's moving a bit fast, too. I always review my kill cam if I suspect anything. I think that guy was pretty righteous. He was just good. Look at there. You can turn and shoot, and you're not shooting at the sky. Sometimes you need to take out that pistol, though. And guys in the corner are Gakamoto. I'm still shooting in the gut, but that's okay because lower torso and uh, lower torso and upper torso, four shot kill, same as four headshots. And there goes the nice lady, and she chops me. Gosh, 
Oh, there she is again. And again. Drop down. I mean, drop shots are just awesome with this thing. So like I said, there's the nice lady. Finally got her. And I didn't touch the recoil at all. It just went straight in her head. Man, you gotta try this thing. It is so weird. It's a different experience. It is very effective. I'll just, I'm kind of just watching the same as you here. Just kind of laughing inside at how exact this weapon is. And I've got one more free for all after this one. Oh, nobody camping. Do an impressive jump to pushing up daisies there. Just a couple more GAX and we got it. There's one, no recoil. And there's a second. Oh, there were three needed. And there we win. Hey, you got to get it. It takes five of week two challenges. Take me three games to get all five of them. Please like and subscribe. Hang around. Cheers and peace. in the area. The enemy holds the lead. Clock sticking.
seconds remain. Ten seconds remaining.